is Margaret Glaspie, and that is a song of mine, um, an original called Somebody to Anybody. Um, songwriting is an interesting process. It's very unique to everyone's um, experience, I suppose. And often it never quite happens the same way twice, but I often have little things that kind of keep me on track and keep a process for the way that I work. Um, one is that I often keep a personal archive of all of my ideas. So now that we have gadgets and iPhones, I often keep voice memos constantly. Um, if ever I have an idea, I always put it down into my phone and record it right away. Um, and so when I have that kind of, um, I call it kind of like a personal archive, uh, I'm able to, if I'm ever stuck, refer to my recordings and try and look at ideas that I've had in the past and see if I'm working on something that kind of connects to uh, something that I've done in the past. And it's never like you're stealing because it's all yours. Um, so that's one thing that's always kind of kept me on track as far as uh, my work process goes. Um, another thing is kind of, uh, once you have a song, I suppose, um, is framing them in a way that highlights their biggest kind of assets. So one thing is, for instance, in the example that I just played, that's the beginning of a song of mine. And um, there, when I first started songwriting, everything was maybe the same volume all the time. I was always kind of playing. <laughs> start out with something busy right from the top. Um, that song started for me just with regular, right now, those two chords, it's a D major chord and an E minor chord. And for me, I started to just play them in first position. Once I had those kind of building blocks to work with, I had chords and I had lyrics, then I would start to kind of edit myself. So I knew that I wanted kind of upward motion when I was playing the song. I'm a little rock on a big mountain. Now I have movement. And then from there I thought, okay, if I want this to come, be able to peak at some point, I'm going to have to start really spare and then make a space for when it gets busier so that I can catch someone's attention from the very top. And so... Space seemed to be effective. Um, that way it kind of gives a little bit more time and space for me, for my song to evolve over time. Um, these, obviously, everybody has such different approaches with songwriting and I, kind of love all of them. Um, but some of these things have kind of helped me in my process so that I can get from A to B and to kind of have um, focused songs for the most part. Sometimes I would be writing songs that it would take, you know, um, an acrobat to kind of flip through all the things that I was trying to say, or maybe I was being more of an acrobat and just creating these structures that um, were kind of hard to understand. But if I can frame them well and I can also kind of uh, keep my own personal archive of lyrics and ideas and melodic thoughts that I'm able to kind of see um, the through line and then collect ideas and put them all in an order that I think makes the most sense.